Hi. <clears throat> what does a geocacher do with excess brain power? Why, she tries to create more interesting and unique geocaches, of course. And that's exactly what we've been doing. So I'd like to show you today some of the geocaches that we have made that we still have not found a place to put them. First of all, I'd like to show you our caching toolkit. It's loaded with lots of goodies. We have spray paints and magnetic strips, seashells, glue gun, ziplocs, variety of paints, some tools here, hammer, we even have plastic leaves for camouflage, and we have some moss that will grow if we place it on the caches. We've created approximately 20 or so caches and all of them are unique and original. I love to look on the internet and see what people have made and what kind of caches are out there because it inspires me to try to come up with something new and interesting for the people who are caching here in Japan.